At this point, I think it is good to distinguish between equilibrium and disequilibrium unemployment. Consider figure A, where the labour market is allowed to clear. The curve N represents the labour force. Notice that at high wage rates, the aggregate supply of labour tends towards N. This is intuitive, given that workers will be willing to supply more labour at higher wage rates. QE represents the equilibrium number of workers who can find a job. At QE, there is equilibrium unemployment. Whereas Q2 minus QE represents the amount of structural and fictional unemployment in the economy. In some sense, QE represents what is full employment given our previous definition. However, let's say there is a fall in demand for labour due to a recession. The aggregate demand for labour falls. However, if we assume the Keynesian assumption that wages are sticky downwards, then there will be this equilibrium unemployment of QE minus Q3. This level of this equilibrium unemployment quite clearly adds to the le already natural level of unemployment. This idea of sticky wages will be introduced later in fiscal policy. Hence, I think it is a good idea for you to get an introduction to it now.